didn't really see a future for myself. We have young people who are feeling more suicidal. We have more young people that are anxious. We have more that are depressed. As a parent, I know what it's like when a child is in crisis and you need to get that kind of help. By having open access, parents can literally walk in and they can get input, advice, and the like from our master's level clinicians. That immediacy of response is so important because it gives that sense of hope that there is actually something that can, can help. We really did something that was profoundly impactful, that it reaches the community in a way that takes down these barriers that we know can be so detrimental when our young people are in crisis. And I'm really proud of that. Before I sought counseling, I was lonely and sad and I had a hard time leaving the house and going to be with my friends. Accessing service through open access was very convenient because we just walked in, asked if we could see a counselor and they got us in within the hour and I got a therapist. My individual therapist recommended me to DBT group. In DBT group, they taught us a lot of mindfulness exercises and interpersonal effectiveness, like ways to ask for what you need from the people around you while being aware of how they're feeling. The people at YES have helped me so much. Children, youth, and family come to us through open access. Additionally, we are in community centers, we are in schools. It's important for us to be where youth are. Before YAS, I was struggling a lot with family drama, personal drama, and substance use. I got into drugs and stopped going to school, and I didn't have much hope for my future. I didn't think that I was going to make it past 20. I first got in contact through the school. It was beneficial to me that my counselor was trained in DBT because I've been through a lot of trauma and a lot of those uh, skills are really helpful for that. The recovery group has been helpful to me. I get to be with people that are my age that understand what we're, I'm going through because we're all going through it. I'm a lot different today than when I started. A lot less self-hate, a lot more love for myself. For two years and two months, I've been sober, and I feel like I'm growing every day. So not only are they you know, receiving therapy and treatment, but they're also getting these supportive services that help um, aid them and give them even more tools and skills. Some of the supportive services we offer are everything from, we have Summer Explorers, which is summer camp for young people. We have Uproads, which is a pro-social sober support group. We also have the LGBTQ BGLAD group. We have Latino Heat. So we offer many different supportive groups, not just individualized therapy. And it is truly amazing to watch what these support services can do for these young people. We often ask in our programming, if YES didn't exist, what would they, how would they feel and what would they be thinking? And time and time again, our youth say they wouldn't know what to do. They wouldn't know where to go. They wouldn't see that they have a future. Well, when a baby's first starting to walk, uh, do you know that we, we applaud them when they fall down? And we forget that when young people struggle. We forget that we need to um, have a team next to them. I have hope now for my future.